Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. Lurgs, wake up, there's water leaking in the kitchen. My wife's just shouted out and there's water all over the kitchen floor. So I go down to fix it and of course the puppy wakes up and Daisy puppy wants her breakfast. So before we get started on the leak in the kitchen, you need to feed the puppy. Hello Daisy. Oh bye. Right, let's get cracking. And underneath the kitchen sink here, we've got water in the grooves of the tiles. So it's made its way onto the floor and down through the grooves on the tiles. So we've got a leak somewhere underneath the kitchen sink. Let's open the door underneath the kitchen sink. And the first thing you need to do is obviously clear out everything that's in that cupboard under the sink. Right, so I've done that. Put a towel down because it's wet. Now it looks like it may have been damp for quite a while, but now the drip suddenly got worse because it actually smells a bit musty in here as well. Now I've already put a tray down to catch the drips and the drip is coming from this pipe here. Now we've got two pipes. We've got a cold water feed and a hot water feed into the mixer tap above. Now in ours, you can isolate the water by using these shut off valves here. I've traced the pipe work up to the sink and it's definitely the hot water pipe that's leaking. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the tap on so we've got some water flow coming out of the tap. Then I'm going to go down to the pipework and then isolate the water using one of these valves. On mine, what you need is a flat bladed screwdriver. You may have a stopcock or an actual lever, a tap, which you can turn. And what you're doing is you're turning that a quarter turn, 90 degrees, and that shuts the water off. And just to prove that it has done that, if we go back to the sink above, the water has stopped running. So I'm now going to turn the tap off. But obviously I want to find out where the leak is coming from. So I'm going to turn the water back on. It's a really good idea to find out how to turn the water off because if you have a problem and you create another leak, you want to be able to isolate the water very quickly because you don't want to flood your kitchen. Now try and find out where that leak is coming from. And there's a link above now about how to fix sticking curtains on your curtain rails. Really handy tip that is. Now water will always drip from the lowest point that it can find. So I'm just going to trace it all the way up the pipework. Now this is the prime suspect and now this flexible tube here is not in great condition. This needs replacing pretty soon. If I put my finger there, look, we've got lots of water coming out the top. Now all that means is this nut just needs tightening up. If the leak was coming from the bottom nut, obviously you'd be tightening this bottom nut and you'd be tightening that clockwise as if you're underneath it facing towards you. It's a good idea when you're tightening that top nut to keep a hold of the nut at the bottom. Use a pair of pliers for this. If you haven't got a pair of pliers, you can actually hold on to the pipe work just to keep it nice and still. But ideally, if you've got another spanner, then get that on that bottom nut and just hold it still. And then on the top nut, you're tightening it clockwise, but don't go crazy. Literally just a tiny amount of turn on this, just so you can try and stop that leak. If you go too crazy, you might damage the thread and you might cause more problems. Now, if you haven't got another spanner, you can just hold that pipe work, as I said earlier, and you're just turning this until it stops leaking. You can see we've already got lots of plumbers made paste on that thread. So it should just tighten up and stop the leak. And earlier I showed you how to isolate the water and that's just a really good idea because if you have a problem and you've got water going everywhere, you know how to turn the water off very quickly. That's all now nicely tightened up. I've probably only turned it about 30 to 40 degrees. I'm just running the tap here just so we've got some water flow. Then take a tissue and wrap it around the joint where you had the leak. And then just monitor that for a little while just to see if you've got any further leaks. If you've got any further slight leaks, you can just try tightening it up a tiny bit more. But with this one, looks like we've cured the leak. Absolutely fantastic. If you haven't managed to cure the leak, then it's time to call a plumber. And there's a link above now about how to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh. And talking of hygienically fresh, I need to clean this under sink cupboard and dry it out properly. 
If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.